Okay, next one's from Izzy. Could you possibly speak about the guilt that can arise from taking care of our own needs and processing our own trauma while trying to help others? I find that when I'm in a place of processing my own trauma, I become very cautious of what, of what support I offer to others as I fear the possible toxicity I may bring forward uh, from my past, which makes it harder for me to connect to others uh, in those times. I also find that... I also find I have so much guilt in the times for taking time for myself. Mm. Um, do you have any thoughts on how this could possibly be navigated? Yes, there are plenty of thoughts, but what it comes down to really is that when you're offering service for other people, do it from your grown-up place. So don't involve the inner children in helping others because if because if so let's just say that the inner children are traumatized from something from the past and that's most often the case that most of your trauma is actually the inner children's uh, space. You you shouldn't try and put the inner children in front of the people on in front of other people and then that way leech that the, you know leak the toxicity from the inner children into the people that you're trying to help. So that's exactly what you were, you know, describing. Well put, by the way, that's awesome. Um, what I would say, though, is that you need to make sure that uh, when you're showing up to other people, that you're doing it from a place of wanting to be of pure service. So truly wanting to be um, true to the situation and not bring your own stuff into it. So make a differentiation between your, your grown-up parts of you and your inner child parts of you and be really, like become extremely aware of who's who and who who's speaking when. And that's why doing the four people within work is so, so important that you understand who the four people within you are, how they operate, how they show up in different situations and how you can maximize using them appropriately because it's not appropriate to bring your inner children's tra trauma into your interactions with others. So I hope that that answers that question. Uh, let me just check. Um, can you speak uh, about the guilt that arises from taking care of your own needs? So the inner children generally for INF types don't want to be a bother. They don't want to, they, they're kind of used to, and, and this breaks my heart to say it, but I observe, observe it often enough in INF types and especially has been true for me in the past as well, uh, that we ignore our inner children until they throw a tantrum. So we don't um, almost like we don't give to ourselves until until we can't handle it anymore. So uh, you know, taking our taking care of our own needs is not actually anything to feel guilty about. It's something that if you do look after your own needs, then you're able to show up in a lot more productive, in a lot more authentic, in a lot more compassionate and effective way for other people. Uh, you know, it's it's very self, <clears throat> and this may seem a little bit. Um, uh, abrasive but just bear with me um, it is and, and anybody who's listening to this video who's in a healing stage should not be listening to what I'm about to say because this is for development purposes okay so this is your responsibility now whether you listen to this or not I don't want to hear criticism about my answer from people who are in a healing space you need to just just respect yourself enough to say okay this is development stuff so I don't have to get upset about this but I will say to you that you know, if you feel like you should be, um, if you feel like you should be uh, sacrificing yourself for other people, that automatically means that you think you are more important than other people, because you're coming from a place of I need to help other people. You know, they can't do it for themselves. I have to help them. So you you think it's basically a form of being obnoxious because you think you're the one who can help them. Where sometimes and most of the times the best thing you can actually do for people is to let them work things out themselves so that you empower them by not doing stuff for them. If you're familiar with the drama triangle of Stephen Cartman, uh, you can look at it from the helper's perspective, from the, the rescuer's perspective. The rescuer needs a victim to feel validated and to feel important. You, my friend, you are important. You don't need somebody to help to be important. So therefore, your self-care should actually be important because you're important. So 
we need to be humble about our own needs. We need to be humble about doing what we can to help ourselves so that we can then help others and not to think that the only way that we uh, bring value to this world is by helping others. You, you, the question asker and everybody else who's tuning into this question, you have value just as you are. You don't have to do anything to be of value. I value you, the fact that we're having this conversation, the fact that you've been thinking about this, the fact that mo you know most people, most line of types ask this question at some stage of their lives. You know, you're important. This is important. But your self-care is paramount. So I hope that that answers your question. And if not, just pop some, um, some comments into the comment section. <laughs>